So, Zach, what a crazy couple of days, um, really three days for Shiv over Sunday, kind of into Monday. Calmed down a little bit yesterday. Today, we may be on the verge of another breakout. What's your uh, What's your opinion? Obviously, you got a piece of content here. Mm, I yeah, wonder man. if we're going to have a breakout. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this could be the calm before another storm, and, and, and a good storm at that. Uh, so, Sunday, we had like about a 30% spike in the price of SHIB. This article is talking about how a potential 35% spike could be in the cards next. But, you know, as we've kind of talked about before, before we hop into this article, Austin, it's all about this consolidation period, right? Yep. I mean, because we had it here for such a long time back in here before the, the last big breakout, right? We, yeah. we had a nice uh, zone where we traded at for a really long time. We couldn't break that 12.8. These are hourly candlesticks, by the way. And then all of a sudden, Boom, look at that. Out of nowhere, just uh, a huge leg up. But look what's happening. Look what's happening after Sunday. It's that sideways action. We're finding our nice support range, you know, in between like the, the 15 and 16 level, which that's exactly what happened the last time where we found it in the 11s and 12s before the burst. So many people around the industry are kind of talking about this too. Uh, I, I saw David Gokstein and um, Peter Brandt, another yeah. analyst out there talking about you know, that uh, SHIB could just be getting started here. And, you know, if we scroll on down, we can kind of see uh, basically here it is right here, the big, big piece of content I wanted to focus on. SHIB will most likely make a run toward the next resistance on the chart located almost 35% above the current price level if we break this kind of 200-day moving average that we're basically right at right yeah. now. But, okay, yeah, awesome, right? And go back up, if you would, just to kind of the chart view, okay? Yep. Uh, or, or the other, sorry, the other view where we had yeah, the yeah. chart. Um, you know, you and I, we cover SHIB every single day, um, you know, and we both love this action. We had the 11-12 consolidation factor that went on for a while, and that was good. It was boring, but it was good, it, you know, support, et cetera. And now we, we both, in our respective videos on our channels, or each of our own channels talked about we're you know we're going to spike we're going to see some pullback we both called it and wanted it to be in the 15 to 1600 range mm -hmm. which is where we are seeing my question to you though is um what's going to move it from here you know and it's kind of a loaded question because i think there's right there's kind of macro scenario and then there's shib specific catalyst so what's your opinion on what's going to move it from here I think it's going to be similar to how we got this last, uh, you know, price uh, price pump back on the 14th. I mean, really, it was mostly driven by the technicals, right? Once we once we breached that 12.8 range, the floodgates kind of opened up, and it seems like, I mean, it feels like, and and we even read and you know read some articles. I think we both covered this that whales kind of were were looking at that level very closely. Once it broke, uh, they started coming in in droves and then here comes the retail money followed behind it but i think what you said there is also true that we have lingering catalyst i mean we know that you know shibarium is right around the corner shiba eternity is doing really really well right now in vietnam where it's being tested uh if we get more news in that regard that could yeah. be a nice boost uh for sure so i i think it's a multitude of things and then of course the macroeconomic landscape is always kind of the backdrop uh, and and uh, always there, right? Ho hovering above everything we look at uh, in, in yeah. crypto. And I think we have a lack of um, macro catalyst right now. You know, the overall crypto market, very soft, not really doing anything. Every time it feels like it's about to wake up, it, it, it pulls back. I was watching Bitcoin and Ethereum this morning, um, Dallas time, you know, and it, oh, you mean we're starting to maybe, no. <laughs> so, no. Yeah. you know, I think, it, I think it's just kind of, there's not a lot of energy right here, right now. Um, you know, I've got a question for you. I mean, and maybe we can even do a full video about this, but I just want to get your quick thoughts on it now. So the Shiba Eternity, mm -hmm. do you think that could bring in new investors? Because like, the way I look at gaming is there are a lot of people who are gaming, obviously billions of people, right. That aren't in crypto. Uh, it's reaching a lot of people right now in Vietnam. Do you think that, you know, single-handedly could bring a lot of people into the SHIB ecosystem if they, if they knock it out of the park with the game? Um, wow. It's actually a really good question. So my immediate reaction was no, here's why. Um, Cause I, I think of them as different. I, th I think of them as two different things. I think of, I think of the game as a catalyst. I think of the game as as a, a deliverable on to the ecosystem, something that was promised, 
hey, look, we, we, we said we're going to do it. Now we did it. We delivered it. And now the price pumps because, you know, of that. Um, so that's how I think of it. I think that I think that it will be a catalyst in that regard. Will it be will, will Shiba Eternity be enough to move the needle per se? I, I, ironically, I think the answer is a little bit of no right now because we're not in an overly positive community, you know, more of a macro level. OK, mm -hmm. now with that said, your real question was, do I think that just the proliferation of the game and millions and millions of people um, using the game? My, my immediate reaction was, no, I'm not a gamer. OK, so straight up, I'm not. Right. But um Without knowing the ins and outs, like like for, here's what I'm trying to say: some games require you to hold the token to play. I know I don't believe there we would have heard about that. I don't think that, I don't think that's a, a, a factor here. Um, and we know that there's a play to earn component of it. So, you know, the actually answer Zach is I don't know. I'm, I mean, I, I think that's really how I feel. I don't know the answer. What do you think? I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of torn on it too, and that's why I asked you because because it kind of came up. Uh, it came up on a live stream recently when I was live with with my audience on my personal channel, and I was kind of in a similar boat. I didn't know really how to respond to it, but you're right. I mean, there is kind of a play to earn component um, with the NFTs, but maybe they work that out, you know, in some other ways. Where if you did have to use the native token, then I could definitely see it having a major but, impact, right? But see, that's the, but see, that's the ironic part. If you had to have the native token and have a wallet and all that kind of stuff, that's right. going to be a significant barrier to entry to the vast majority of people. And look, they're right. launching on Google play on, on, on the Google store, whatever they call that, uh, the play store, I think. And they're watching yeah. on, on Apple iOS, uh, you know, uh, the app store. So they're launching mainstream, right? And, and here's what I, here's what I think I would wrap up with this thought. Here's what I believe and what I know. William Vogue, the head of the head of development for the game, uh, basically has got his fingerprints all over this. He's a mainstream, you know, video game guy, mainstream yep. video. He's not going to put barriers into place for the game that's going to that's going to, you know, stop the more mass adoption. And I think that's really what we're saying is I think this is the first crypto game, excuse me, game from a crypto company, if you will, that mm -hmm. is that is really, to my opinion, more mass adoption. I mean, mm -hmm. Maybe because when I saw Apple iOS and the Google Play Store, I'm like, oh, OK, wow, they're going after kind of that mainstream adoption me methodology. Right. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see. I think you're asking the right question, but I, I, I think there probably will be a crypto component, but it's going to be like, oh, in, oh, this is something else we have. If you want this, it's not. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. You can always kind of like I wonder if they're going to do I know we're going to wrap this up here in a minute, but I, you wonder if they do kind of like the. I guess the Fortnite model where it's like, Hey, it's, it's a free game. However, look at all these skins. I mean, it's really not free, right? It, they, they, they oh. hook you in with it's free, but no, it's not, you know, this Fortnite. probably from your son playing Fortnite, Fortnite has right? cost me probably. Yeah. Notice I said me, cost me <laughs> um, easily 500 bucks. I mean, that's what I mean. And easily. And what if you had to get these like added pieces or layers yeah, to whatever the skins you know, and the guns and, and you buy it and you know, shit. the, the, the battle passes and all this yeah, other whole, stuff. I mean, yeah. I mean, he would, he would call me like, I'm like, fine, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not a gamer, but I, even I had to get on uh, Fortnite a little bit. I mean, so that was, fun. here's the funny thing. I played with him one night and I was running around and I was stressed out because I'm like, I feel like I need to be building. I don't know how to build. And he's over there trying to kill me. I'm like, you little, you, little, you know, <laughs> well, so building is the key to that game. I mean, you see uh, some of these people, some of these streamers, they can build a freaking tower in like nah, and 10 my seconds. Son's good at it. He is, yeah. He's good at it. But, uh, but all right. Well, I'm going to take us out with that. So if you haven't already done so, check out the uh, description. And the, then down there is a link to all of Clear Crypto's uh, uh, socials. We highly recommend Discord. Check out Discord. That's where you're going to get all the latest and greatest info. And with that said, check out the rest of the content creators here on the Clear channel. Myself Definitely. and Zach, we create content for Clear. We have our own channels. There's other creators. Check them out. And with one goal to educate you and help you bring you into crypto. See ya.